Hi there. This uh, very short video uh, is going to show you how you can full use of the challenges. Uh, as I may have previously said, you when you go to the challenge, you can challenge a friend, a stranger, a robot, challenge a star, and or a group challenge. And the group challenge, you can specify best hand or just declare. Just declare means the robot does the bidding for you and you just concentrate on playing. All right, and uh, as you can see, you can invite up to four players. Okay, so uh, I think previously you have seen me uh, I, I invite uh, you guys to play and then you have already played. So now uh, actually I want to show you how to uh, use this feature to try to improve your bridge. So uh, I'm showing this to you on a PC. All right, uh, it's actually uh, most appropriate on a PC because then uh, you get a larger screen and you can see everything. But uh, you can also do the same on uh, iPad, for example. All right. So uh, the layout may differ a little bit. All right. But essentially, all the features are there. So let's say you have finished a challenge, which takes three days to finish. All right. And then uh, you can now go to your history. See the history tab on the right. So if you click on the history tab, Right, you see under recent tournaments, right? So you got three things to click, right? You need to click on recent tournaments and you see your group challenge appearing there. All right, so what you can do is now click this. Now, if we are playing uh, uh, Just Declare, all the contracts are the same. All right, so uh, um, for example, and uh, let's say, for example, bot one, right? You can see that, uh, let's move, let's make this a bit bigger, right? So for example, you can see that for bot one, uh, this is the, the bot that was played. And this is uh, my own result, of course, because I logged in under my account, right? But you can see other tables too. You can see this button called other tables. Now three club S minus one, right? So if you now look at other tables, you can see, uh, other tables results, all right? Okay, so this is not very interesting because uh, all the contracts are the same and all the results are the same, uh, which may happen when you play just declare because uh, depends on whether the bot is a, a more difficult bot or not. Okay, so, but let's say, uh, I don't know, go to bot four, all right? And there you see that, as, it, as I said, the bidding is already done for you. All you have to do is play. And you just click other tables, and you can see that the uh, that uh, there's a uh, a bunch of other results also there. All right, so you can click on any of this, right, to see the board the the play. And for each board, you can, for example, click on next trick, and it will show you exactly the history of how the play went. So I'm doing this for my own board, all right? Uh, but you can click on the other boards, other, uh, other uh, players' uh, boards, and then also see how they played the same board, all right? So you can compare and see what's the difference between your board and uh, your play and their play, all right? Uh, and there's another thing you can do besides just comparing with uh, uh, the other players, right? You can do what is called double dummy analysis, right? Now, a caution here, double dummy analysis just shows you the best, the optimal play, right? If, uh, if the computer can see everything, all right? So, uh, for example, it shows if you see a four here, it means that if the uh, based on the contract of uh, four spades, you would go down four tricks, four tricks, five tricks, five tricks, and so on and so forth, uh, depending on the card that was played. All right, and this is in theory only. All right, uh, what the rope since the robot can see everything, but it's kind of useful just to see, uh, for example, the numbers change. So right now it's at minus five, right? So you can see where the number will change uh, to something different, okay? So right now it's all, all five. Uh, 
I think I'll show you one of these. All right. So for example, uh, sorry, excuse me. So for example, this one, let's say show double dummy. All right. Right now it says you, uh, at, before the first trick is played, you can see that you go down either minus four or minus five. All right. This is only in theory and assumes perfect play if the robot sees everything, which of course is not totally realistic, but you can use it this way. So right now it's all minus five, right? Okay, hang on. We're gonna wait for a key play here. So here you can see that uh, the there's a change from minus five to minus six after the eight of space is played. All right. So uh, you can see that this would be the key key play that uh, caused you to be different from uh, a minus five contract, for example. All right. So anyway, so to summarize, you can uh, when you do a just declare challenge, and after the just declare challenge ends in three days. You can compare your play against the other players in your group. Or you can do this double dummy analysis by enabling, uh, excuse me, by enabling show double dummy and then uh, just playing through and see where the key point where the number changes for you. All right, so that's one way to do it. And that's it. Thanks. Bye.